Hello children, let me welcome you to the virtual class of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher. Children, we are in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic and because of that we are not able to go to school but that doesn't mean we are going to stop learning. So we are going to do many lessons which are very interesting from your textbook through the virtual class here. So let us do a lesson in English today. So come on children, let us start with a lesson in standard 7th English and this will be the last lesson that you have in your English textbook for this year. That is, we will start with lesson number 4.6 in your textbooks and the name of the lesson is Papa Panov's Special Christmas. Now children, look at the screen here. What do you see on the screen? You see so many gifts and you see some Christmas trees, you see bells, okay, you see stars. That means this particular story is related to the festival of Christmas and it is a story related to a person called as Papa Panov. Now who was Papa Panov and where he used to live and what was his story, we will find out very shortly. So let us first try and understand what is a Christmas. So we celebrate a number of festivals in our country. We celebrate Diwali, we celebrate Holi, Dashahara. Those are all festivals which Hindus celebrate. Now in India, we are a multi, you can say religious nation. We have people from different religious, people speaking different languages people having different cultures living together in our country all right now we have a type of people called christians our christian friends they are followers of the religion called as christianity and christianity is based on the teachings of jesus christ all right so our christian friends our christian brothers and sisters they celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ every year. It comes on the 25th of December and this particular day is celebrated as Christmas. So it was on the 25th of December that Jesus Christ was born and that particular day we celebrate as Christmas. Okay. Now on the day of Christmas people decorate their houses just like we decorate our houses for Diwali in the same way Christians also they decorate their houses can you see how beautifully they have lit up the place okay and there is a very important part of Christmas that is the Christmas tree so you can see there the Christmas tree with lots of lighting and lots of gifts also hanging on it and remember children December is the month when it is very very cold Alright, so people they prefer to stay indoors, they stay inside their houses, they pray and then of course the family gathers together and they have feasts and they enjoy themselves. Okay, so Christmas basically is a festival of joy, it is a festival of giving, it is a festival of spreading happiness around you and there is also one story which is associated with Christmas about Santa Claus so there you can see Santa Claus so it is said that Santa Claus comes on Christmas night and he distributes gifts to all the children okay so he carries a big sack full of gifts can you see the sack there on Santa Claus's back he is an old man with white beard and white mustache and he wears a red coat okay so you can see Christmas uh, Santa there and you can see the children so happy and Santa it's, it is said that Santa comes very very uh, quietly so no one will be able to see Santa they will only be able to take their take his gifts alright so this was about the story of Christmas this is how Christmas is celebrated so what is the true spirit of Christmas the true spirit of Christmas is love alright loving your uh, family, loving yourself, loving your friends, loving your neighbors, loving people who do not have many things in life, people who are little poor, people who are little sick. Okay, so Christmas is about spreading love everywhere around you. Now, let us talk about our story here. 
Now our story is very very closely associated with Christmas. So in this particular story we are going to talk about how Papa Panov celebrated his Christmas. And remember it was a very special Christmas. So we saw what people usually do during Christmas. They decorate their houses of course and they celebrate along with their family and their friends. They have a feast. But Papa Panov, he had a different kind of Christmas. And that Christmas was indeed very, very special. So let us see the story of Papa Panov's special Christmas. So now this is a story from a small village in Russia. It is from a Russian village. And as I told you, Christmas falls in the month of December. Every year on the 25th of December, we celebrate Christmas. And that is also a time which is very, very cold. So you can see here, the entire place is covered with snow, covered with ice. But then there is no, you can say, uh, lack of festivities. People have decorated their houses and you can see how bright everything looks. So there is no lack of enthusiasm. The people are still joyful. The people are still happy that it is Christmas. Okay. Now Papa Panov, he has a small shoemaker's shop. That is, he is the village shoemaker. Okay. Now everywhere people are uh, running around and people are arranging uh, things for Christmas. There is a lot of laughter. There is a lot of chatter. People are so happy. Now Papa Panav, he also comes out of his shop to take one last look around and what does he see? He sees uh, bright lights and he hears sounds of happiness and also one very important thing for Christmas or any festival is the food that we make so he can also smell delicious smells, right? But Papa Panav, he is a little sad also. Usually he is very happy, but today on this very happy day, he looks a little sad. Why is that so? Because Papa Panov is reminded of the Christmas times that he had in the past when his wife was alive. So now his wife is no longer there with him. She has gone away to God and his children have also grown up and they have also gone away to live in another place. All right. So he is a little sad now that he has to go home and he has to celebrate Christmas alone. But he doesn't mind. Okay. He goes home and he sits in his favorite chair and then he decides that today I will read the family Bible. So he picks up the big old Bible which is a family Bible and he starts reading it. He starts reading the story of Christmas again from the Bible. He starts reading how Mary's little baby that is Jesus Christ was born in a cow shed. He reads the story of how Mary and Joseph they try, they are tired from their journey coming from Bethlehem and they have found no place to stay and finally Mary has to deliver the child or Jesus Christ is born not in a hospital, not in a comfortable home but in a cow shed. And Papa Panna was very sad now. He says that if the baby had come to live with me, if she would have been here, Mary would have been here, I would have given him a nice a quilt, I would have kept him warm and I would have given him some gifts also. So Papa Panna was feeling very sad that no one helped Mary that day. Okay, but then what he does, he tries to look around his house and he finds a pair of tiny perfect leather shoes. He said, if ever I have to see Jesus, I will give him this tiny pair of leather shoes. So he's thinking, he's dreaming, he's reading and finally he falls asleep. He's very tired also. He's very old also. It is very cold. So finally he's reading and then he falls asleep. Okay. And as he sleeps, he has a dream. He dreams that. Jesus has come to spend time with him on Christmas. So Jesus is also feeling bad that Papa Panov is alone. He has got no one to spend time with. And so Jesus decides to come and spend some time with Papa Panov. 
that is what papa panav sees in his dream okay and then when he wakes up he realizes that it was just a dream but then in the dream jesus christ has told him that you have been wishing that you could see me papa panav then look for me tomorrow it will be christmas day and i will visit you so papa panav what has jesus told papa panav that i will come and visit you on christmas day but he also tells him that look carefully for i shall not tell you who i am he says i will not come in this form so i will come in some other form so please be very very careful please be very very observant but one thing is sure i am going to come and spend time with you tomorrow on christmas now papa panav gets up and he hears the bell ringing and he realizes oh my god it is christmas day okay so he gets up he walks around the room and he thinks about his dream he wonders whether jesus will really come and if he comes will he come in the form of a small baby or will he come as a grown up person or will he come as a carpenter or will he come as a king so now he is starting to wonder at the same time he also remembers that jesus christ had told him that he should be very very careful and observant throughout the day so papa panav goes to the window and he starts looking around he decides that i am going to look at each person carefully so i can recognize jesus whenever he comes all right so papa panav what he does he tries to make some good coffee and then he is thinking that i should wait for jesus so let me make some coffee for him let me make some soup for him because it is very cold and then he starts waiting for jesus he starts looking out for jesus but does he see jesus on the road no then whom does he see he sees a sweeper so the street is completely deserted no one is there in the street no one is moving around there is just one person on the street and who is that that is the road sweeper okay now he is looking miserable this road sweeper why because it is so cold isn't it all of us want to be inside our houses when it is cold when it is raining we do not want to go out on the road so this person is also feeling very cold and he is very dirty also because he is sweeping all right now papa pana what does he do he invites him into the house because the old the poor fellow was freezing outside in the cold can you see his face he looks so sad he looks so tired and he is feeling very cold also so papa panav he invites him into his house he says come in come in and have some hot coffee to keep out the cold so imagine how nice this person must have felt the sweeper looked up and he could not believe his eyes and his ears he could not believe that an old man was inviting him in to have a cup of coffee he immediately went into papa panav's house and papa panav poured him a cup of hot coffee and this boy what did he do he held the cup with both his hands okay now his hands were so cold that he held the cup with both his hands and he started sipping or drinking the wonderful coffee papa panav again started looking out of the window and this old man and this sweeper asks him are you expecting someone papa panav he says yes and i hope he comes having said that the sweeper goes away now papa panav starts preparing some cabbage soup for his dinner after preparing the soup he again goes and starts looking out of the window now even we do it when we are supposed to uh, when we expecting a guest to come what do we do we go and stand near the door we go and stand near the window looking out for the guest to arrive so papa panav does the same what does he see does he see jesus no again he doesn't see jesus then whom does he see see he sees a young girl with a baby walking the cold street imagine the kind of cold it must be there 
can you see it is ice all around the girl's face is also covered with ice and look at the baby it doesn't even have a proper clothing to cover it okay the girl was walking very slowly and quietly and she was hugging the walls of the shops and the houses why she was taking support to walk she was looking very very tired all right and her face was so sad and even a baby's face was very very sad the baby was also looking very tired and ill that is when papa panov calls them into his house he says won't you come in he called you both need a warm by the fire and a rest he said you need to relax by the fire and you need to rest for some time now the girl is again very happy okay because someone has offered her shelter on this cold morning she also goes into papa panav's house happily okay see there is a fire burning there and there is a nice warm place for her to sit papa panav also gives her baby some milk to drink so she is very very relieved and she is very very happy and her heart in her mind in her heart she blesses this dear old man papa panov okay what does he do i told you na he offers some warm milk also to the baby see he's bought the milk in a bowl and with a spoon and he feeds the baby he took the baby milk also and from the girl's hand and he starts feeding the baby also now he notices that the baby had no shoes on in this cold weather so when it is very cold children you need to cover your head you need to cover your hands you need to cover your feet so this particular baby it did not have shoes when it is so cold his mother could not buy him a pair of shoes you will also see that the baby's feet had become blue with the cold okay the blood circulation in the feet had stopped because of the cold immediately papa panov he remembered the tiny pair of boots that he had the ones which he was supposed to offer to jesus christ he immediately went and he offered the shoes to the young mother and then you will see that the young mother she put the shoes on onto the baby and then it fit the baby perfectly also and the baby was so happy that it started gurgling with joy can you see the baby is very happy why because it has got a nice pair of shoes and now his feet her feet will be warm so the baby is very very happy and the girl she blesses papa pano she says you have been so kind to us may all your christmas wishes come true and therefore she also goes away now papa panav goes back to waiting for jesus he again starts looking anxiously up and down the street now there were a lot of people walking around on the street but they were all people whom he knew jesus christ was nowhere to be seen but he saw a number of beggars okay walking down the street with no money no home no food so he called all of them and he offered them some bread and soup he gave all of them bread and soup he did not see jesus but papa pana fed a number of beggars that day okay after this again he goes back and he waits for jesus it is almost evening now and papa pana was tired of looking at the door and he cannot even see the people outside now because it is dark some people have gone in okay into their houses now papa pana he goes and he sits down on his armchair and he says oh it was a dream after all jesus had not come so he knew that jesus will not come and it was just a dream that he had seen but then suddenly he realized that he was not alone in the room any longer so who was there with him in the room can you see you can see the lady with the baby <coughs> you can see the old beggar that he had fed you can see the sweeper 
and you can also see the presence of something which is divine can you see a kind of a light so papa panav suddenly realized that he was not alone and as each of them passed in front of his eyes they whispered didn't you see me papa panav papa panav was very very surprised he said who are you and that is when he remembered the voice of jesus jesus was telling him i was hungry and you fed me i was naked and you clothed me i was cold and you warmed me i came to you today in every one of those you helped and welcomed okay so god is saying that you did not help see me directly but you saw me in each of my creations when i was hungry you fed me that is when you fed the beggar you were indirectly feeding me when you gave clothes to that when you gave boots to that poor baby you were actually giving clothes and boots to me when you offered hot coffee to the sweeper you were giving me that hot coffee suddenly papa panav realized and a great peace and happiness seemed to overflow the room it used to be the room was filled with a kind of peace and happiness and papa panav's heart was also overflowing with happiness he wanted to sing and laugh and dance so he did come after all was all that he said okay so jesus had indeed come to visit papa panav so see was it papa panav's uh, christmas indeed very special why because the person's birthday whom he was celebrating who the whole world celebrates had come to meet papa panav himself there is also a moral that you can take from the story children papa panav served people who were in need and that is as good as serving god okay so there is a very important thing that we learn from this lesson and what is that it is service to humanity is service to god if you want to make god happy serve your fellow beings be of use to the people around you so how will you do it try to help people in need you will see many people who are poor who are hungry okay who are not able to afford things for themselves especially in this pandemic situation you will see many people who are hungry who don't have money try to help them in whichever way possible not only with money not only with food sometimes you can also help suffer support you can offer comfort to someone to make their lives better okay if you speak a kind word to someone immediately their lives will become happier than before so try to support the people who are there with you try to help your friends try to help your neighbors try to help your relatives try to emotionally support them if not always giving money okay and also the most important thing be kind to animals also animals are also a creation of god so be very kind to animals you should not hurt any living thing whether it is a small animal or a big animal whether it is a domestic one or a bird or a cat or a dog or whichever animal try to be of help to them if in, if you can't help them at least do not hurt them okay so this is the moral that we learn from this story of papa panov and his special christmas okay so hope you loved the story hope you understood the meaning of the story and hope also you took away some learning from the story that you have to be kind you have to always help people at all times now we have just one exercise children in this particular lesson and that is about homophones so let us look at this exercise so write the homophones now what are homophones words which sound the same are called as homophones okay now there are some words in this particular story you are supposed to try and find out the homophones of these particular words so come on let us get started so see n o no and k n o w is also no 
so see both these words they sound the same they may have different spellings and their meanings are also different but they sound the same homo means same phones means sounds so two words which have the same sound which sound same to your ears are called as homophones so no and no are homophones of each other let us look at the other examples here so you have dear and dear so one dear means someone who is very close to you and the other dear is the animal dear all right then you have here here so see one here is here this place all right you say na come here so come to this place and the other one is here that means to listen make use of your ears and listen to what someone is saying here let's look at the next one it is went and went so one went means someone went the past tense of go is went and the other went means a small exit or a small hole through which air can pass went okay the next one pair and pair now just ignore the number everything is one don't worry okay we are not worried about the counting but we are worried about meanings so pair you say pair means jodi so you say a pair of shoes a pair of scissors a pair of socks a pair of gloves okay that is jodi and the other one pair it means a fruit pair something which looks like a gawa okay next one is new and new so here the first one k n e w new means the past tense of no okay no new means kisi cheez ko janna and new means something which is new something which is not old let us go to the next three now the last three here so you have through and through one through means to go through something make way through something all right beach say like you say and the other one is through the past tense of throw fekna he threw the ball he threw a stone okay so you have through t h r o u g h through and t h r e w through the second last one you have soul and soul s o u l soul means our spirit our atma s o u l soul s o l e soul could be the part of your slipper or your chappal or your shoe which touches the ground the sole of your shoe okay so you have sole could also have some other meanings s o l e sole but we will look at just one meaning here now because we are highlighting the meaning of homophones so what are homophones homophones are words which have the same sound but then their meanings are different okay so soul means atma and soul means a part of your shoe or your footwear coming to the last one here you have whole and whole so w h o l e whole means full so i will have the whole chapati means i will eat the entire chapati i will not give even a small piece to anyone whereas h o l e whole means when there is a part of something which is missing for example you say there is a hole in her dress or there is a hole on that curtain okay so that is whole so now i hope you understood what the meaning of homophones are so what have we done today 
we have seen the beautiful story about being a good human being we have seen papa panov's story in which he has a dream he himself is very lonely because his wife is not there now with him his children are not there now with him he is very lonely but he doesn't sit and cry over his problems he tries to make life better for other people and he waits for god to come and meet him okay god has promised him in his dreams that i will be coming and meeting you today on this christmas eve but he keeps waiting for god at the same time as he is waiting for god he also goes ahead and helps people who are in need he feeds the hungry he gives clothes and shoes to the poor all right so he makes himself useful and that is how god becomes very very happy with him and what is the message that we learned from this lesson we learned that service to humanity is service to god so if you help a human being in a way directly or indirectly you are helping god so children that was the last lesson lesson number 4.6 in your english textbook papa panov's special christmas so hope you enjoyed the story of the lesson and so this is the last video which i will be putting up for your standard 7 syllabus this year thank you so much so children wasn't that a very interesting lesson i'm sure you learned a lot of new things in this lesson if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my video so that you will get to see all the videos which i keep posting regularly